gangsters. For right now, the moon is at 80.5% uh, illumination in the sign of Capricorn, headed towards a full moon in Aquarius on the 19th, which is going to be pretty intense energy. Um, it is a super blue moon. So let's see. And you know, with Aquarius representing that swords, air energy, you know, I can imagine there's going to be a lot of that. Um, very direct and clear communication, you know, like, uh, cutting to the chase in a lot of aspects of your life, right? So let's see how this is going to affect you, um, personally, right? So it looks like there's going to be a lot <laughs> for you. Uh, we've got Syrians B, responsibilities, lessons, growing up. Um, this kind of makes me feel like, you know, that the karmic lessons that kind of come with life. Um, just judging by the cards that follow, you know, like it feels like a lot of the times we encounter other people other souls you know for a time and and really have to learn what lesson they're there to teach us right whether it's fun or not fun you know there's always going to be those karmic lessons in life you know every new person you meet is going to be somebody who teaches you something very significant about yourself you know and then we have venusians right romance soulmates empathy Okay, so you could be meeting uh, a new romantic partner. You could already be in a relationship or have some kind of interest here. But it definitely it looks like a soul tie, right? See the way that they're like kind of tied up in that ribbon together. It's like it kind of feels that this is kind of a soul tie, um, you know. And so with Lyrans, strength, courage, and bravery, this is strong Leo energy, right? Leo is represented by the sun and strength. So um, I, I definitely see, you know, like this being something where you can, you know, your courage, your strength, your bravery will lead you towards that, which makes you feel emotionally abundant, right? And sometimes, you know, it's high risk, high reward. And then that brings me to the point of the risk, right? We have reptilians, which is very opposite energy, which means this is like kind of a, an external energy here, right? That's kind of taking some focus as well, right? This is predator, survival, tyrannical. So this could be people in your life. This could be things that you've been focusing your attention on. Um, this could be old co-workers or something but these are people in your life who are kind of like judgmental domineering um argumentative like they want to bring out like the lower parts of yourself right and that's part of the karmic thing i'm seeing here as well right you're you're meeting karmic soulmates both positive and negative right you're meeting the ones that that teach you the fun lessons and the ones that teach you the not so fun and it's almost like simultaneously right and so i want to get clarity on where this energy is coming from because this could be you know like i said work family friends even like but there's just like this energy of like you know, somebody really kind of coming in and and trying to be domineering and overbearing and, you know, kind of putting you in a mood. Okay. 
Okay, so there's like a lot connected to this energy. Um, so from what I see here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords, either this is somebody that you have broken up with or somebody that has broken up with you, you know, put your energy wherever it belongs. It both came out at around the same time, but this looks like a severed tie, right? Um, this could also be like quitting a job, right? Being let go, right? Because the Queen of Pentacles is letting something go, something of value. And the King of Swords is cutting someone off. So, um, and being very like cold and like, Psh, this is what it is, you know? So it could also be like um, leaving a job or something of that nature. But with the Empress in reverse, it feels like there was no real creativity or growth or expansion with that connection. And so, like, I feel that letting go, that go, releasing that energetically as well as physically, right? Like, it's it, it looks like it's already, like, physically, like, you're moving past this. But energetically, you need to as well, like, not think too much on that, not kind of dwell, right? With the Three of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, it like, it feels that, you know, certain individuals just, they don't play well with others, right? And so, getting away from this energy was, you know, for the best. With the Ace of Swords, it gives you the opportunity to take on the next endeavor, right? To take action towards something new, something that will inspire you. With the Knight of Wands, you might get um, some kind of message or news that um, that you're hoping for. Um, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups in reverse, this kind of indicates to me that this isn't a romantic message coming through. Knight of Wands can sometimes imply that. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse, that's like kind of clarifying that's not really romantic there's not romantic intent with this message news or communication um with the ten of pentacles this has to do with building personal wealth right this has to do with like you know money management you know getting into a more lucrative position um having you know like investing perhaps in more than one a uh, source of uh, income, right? Passive income is a pretty dope thing to explore. Uh, with the moon in reverse, I see too, like, uh, and this is, you know, Pisces energy. You have Venusian energy up here as well. Um, but with the moon in reverse here, it's almost like, because with the moon, okay, the moon in the upright represents like that which is coming to light, that, that's, that which is kind of like hidden beneath the surface here, like a truth coming out or whatever. With the moon in reverse, it's kind of the opposite of this. And so this could be like after the fact, or this could be like before the fact. Right, but it's like something is hidden, right? Or, and perhaps, you know, you're moving in silence. That that kind of, because I'm seeing a lot of movement in the card itself, right? The oysters. Um, I'm trying to get away from the walrus, right? And so, yeah, it, it kind of feels like, you know, you might be needing to move in silence. Right? This could also reflect on something that is, like, not seen yet, right, on your path. With the tower, I do see, like, something kind of falling apart here, right? With the page of cups in reverse, there could be a change of heart, too. If, there, if this is romantic at all, and it feels this much like work, then I honestly... <laughs> I would say, you know, that's your answer right there. It's too much for a great romance should not feel like that in a tarot reading, right? Um, this does feel more like a job, but I'm just throwing that out there. 
with the page of cups in reverse there is like a change of heart or like an emptying of one's cup right with the sun card right there it came out in reverse but there's no reverse meaning for the sun card and it's funny this came out because of the lyrans because when it came up i said it's represented by the sun and strength and i'm seeing the lyrans and um the sun here so i kind of feel like that's confirmation on that that like somebody could have strong leo in their chart or um or could simply just be in this Leo energy. I don't know. Um, with or dealing with Leo. The Sun card though represents like help getting over this wall, right? Like help in a new direction. And it, you know, brings you to that prosperity, that happiness, that abundance, right? So yeah. And that was all just clarifying the reptilians, right? These are the reptilians that you're dealing with, like, people who don't work well together, people, it could be gossipers, you know, they could be whatever the, whatever the fuck they are, but it wasn't good for you. There was no growth, no expansion. It just felt like a dead end, right? And so you definitely needed to pull through on that. So let's clarify this Venusians energy, the romance soulmates, you know, I kind of like the happier side of this uh, reading. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Um, so. We have the strength card, Leo energy coming out, which is funny. It's like more of that Lyran energy. And I feel like I'm being like really pulled towards clarifying the Lyrans uh, before the Venusians, right? Because then we also have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Wands is fire energy, Leo is fire energy, and it's all kind of like pulling in that direction. Um, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I think there's like... A failure to begin something whatever that means it's like because ace of wands is like a passionate new beginning right and it, there could be like a reluctance towards pursuing a new beginning um with the six of swords it's like showing that there's you know something that needs to be walked away from you could still be in the process of walking away from that situation over there you know um, but it's almost like something needs to be healed, something needs to be, you know, course corrected, I'm hearing, right? With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I see this energy of, like, somebody, whether it's you or somebody else, but kind of feeling this energy of, not wanting to have to do everything by themselves, right? Like wanting kind of a collaborative energy. However, there's still like an emotional tie over here or some kind of thing that's emotionally holding you back, even if it's just focusing on, you know, letting go of a job or whatever, but it like, it holds you back from thinking on this energy over here, right? or like the it holds you back from focusing on it like you got a lot in your life and um and it's hard to proceed in that new way when when there's so much that you're still figuring out on your road right there's so much that you still need to accomplish um
So, whoever I'm reading for, take it as it resonates because it feels kind of personal. Whoever I'm reading for hasn't, like, made a full-ass decision with the judgment in reverse. Um, with the Knight of Swords in reverse to, like, take a certain action, right? And this is clarifying the Venusians. This is, like, having a love interest, but somebody, you know... Somebody may be reluctant to, like, express that. Um, but the Two of Wands in reverse. Followed up by the Four of Wands. This tells me somebody, like... Yeah, like their commitment is elsewhere at this time. And it could be you because it, it seems to be like the focus is on like, like a long-term commitment or, um, some kind of like roots, right? Um, like things that kind of tie you down or tie you back. So... Whatever that means. It could be like literally where you live, like being too far away to pursue something if you have like an, a love interest that's far. Um, but what is inevitably gonna happen? Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to let go of something that they've held on to for a long time. This could be the ending or severance of a relationship. Like, um, and I'm really feeling that with the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy kind of implying that, like, somebody here isn't, like, choosing to learn or grow or whatever. And... This could have been, like, a long-term commitment or whatever. But there's, like, this energy of, like, not wanting to grow in the same direction. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, this is rebirth energy, like a period of, like, necessary healing and recovery from, like, you know, just whatever is transpiring in your life. It's like, it's like, you know, that right now you've got to focus on your priorities and getting, getting certain things in order. Um, with the King of Wands, the, there's, like, still this, like, kind of creative and passionate energy about you. This also is calling you to step into your leadership role, right? To empower yourself in that direction because I feel like there's a lot of responsibilities that you're going to be taking on, right? And a lot of new challenges you're going to be taking on with the Two of Swords in reverse, um, yeah, this is, like, not kind of having a heavy heart, you know, this is not, um, this is not being super guarded or defensive with your energy. There's, like, a fluid nature about you where you're, like, you know, you're open to the growth, you're open to the expansion, whatever that 
means and however that takes you, you know. King of Cups in reverse and I feel that you're going to be more in your head and less in your heart uh, for a while you know whether you've already broken up with somebody or you're you know still processing kind of since the last you know person or whatever it just feels like there's a huge change of heart and a lot of healing and growth that's happening and kind of a decision wanting to like move forward in a new direction, but also understanding that you have just a lot that needs to be put in order. Um, that kind of takes precedence over that, right? With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, there is... Oh, a strong independent nature here, right? Six of Pentacles is like somebody like helping to build you up um financially and maybe you're going on to like a single income kind of situation and you're like all right now i have to adjust to this and budget and focus on like how i'm gonna get that shit in order um before adding on any other like things right onto your plate we've got 10 10 endings and new beginnings so that energy is pretty strong here. And I just feel, you know, and you have the tower and the ten of swords in reverse, which tells me that, like, you know, there's an upheaval in your life. It's like a, a cleansing period that has to happen before, like, you enter into your next romantic cycle or, you know even you know jump on that wave because it, it just feels like there's a lot to sort out even though like there is heavy energy here that there's like a, a desire for that or an, a focus on that um i'm kind of seeing that you're being guided to like really focus on all the other aspects at this time and kind of allow, just allow the universe to, to kind of help you sort it out by the art of just being, right? Instead of trying to control every single outcome and every way that things turn out, just kind of like flow with it and let what will happen, happen, you know? Um... And, you know, if it's a relationship, it's not something that you're going to have to go externally seeking or... Um, you know, anything like that because it's something that will, if it's meant for you, it's going to gravitate toward you, right? Um, and so even being in the art of letting go in that sense, like even if you're interested in somebody and you want to start a relationship, um, just kind of be in limbo, you know, and, and see, does it gravitate? Like, is it, you know, and... I wouldn't waste too much overthinking on that either. Like, you know, que sera, sera. What will be, will be, <laughs> you know. Um, so, you know, and when you kind of live in that flow state of what will be, will be, then you're not hyper fixating on other things while you're trying to accomplish something else, right? Like, focus on, like, one task at at a time right don't overwhelm your mind and your emotions with you know thinking about these things over here while trying to accomplish these things over here like you gotta stay focused <laughs> Kalika Tantrika. 
Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we have veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity, detaches energy or er, detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you are not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she is doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. Jamunda. Knowing what to allow and what to fight for or against requires wisdom. Chmunda is the fearlessness, wisdom, patience, and discipline required to conquer a difficult situation. Chmunda is the power to accomplish what you need and desire. She is with you now. Her presence pretends a truly exceptional breakthrough on your path. And this is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you all, and I will see you soon.